from New York, the greatest city in the world, it's The Late Show with David Letterman. Tonight, comedian Tommy Shanigan. Here we go. Well, I'm glad you folks are in a good mood tonight because our... Uh, Next guest is making his network television debut with us, and he will be performing at the Comedy Castle in Detroit, Michigan, from May 29th through the 31st. Please welcome Tommy Jonigan. Thank you. Thank you. This is, uh, this is good. I recently found out I'm not a fighter. Uh... <laughs> I found out when I got punched in the face a lot in a row. <laughs> I was like, this isn't for me. I'm gonna stop doing this as soon as he stops punching me in my face. I'm gonna go ahead and retire with an 0-1-1 record. I didn't do very well in the fight. I ended up with two black eyes, which is the maximum number <laughs> humanly possible. Some guy watching the fight came over to break it up. He beat up the other guy because he felt sorry for me. Uh, I'm the only person that's ever fought a guy and came in third. My dad says I need a gun to protect myself. He told me uh, he has guns strictly for protection. Then he said one of them shoots 300 yards. I don't know a lot about the laws of self-defense, but um, you're going to need a good lawyer if you pick someone off a quarter mile away. That guy was coming at me with a knife or carving a turkey in his kitchen. Um, one of those. It's not even the funniest thing I heard. My fiance called me at Christmas. She goes, you'll never guess how much money I've saved for the holidays. I go, how much? She says, $1,2100. <laughs> You're right. I wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> when I guess numbers, I don't make them up. <laughs> I found out being in a relationship, pregnancy comes up all the time for no reason. Uh, anytime she's got a bellyache or she's sick to her stomach, she's always got a girlfriend that's like, oh, you know what that could mean. Yeah, it could mean she woofed down two helpings of lasagna without chewing. That's my first guess. What do you got, Quizmaster? We were eating dinner one night. She goes, I don't feel well. Her friend goes, maybe you're pregnant. Well, maybe you should shut up and eat your taters. Uh... My friends would never guess that. I could have a girl eight and a half months pregnant and wearing a maternity dress. My friends would be like, maybe it's gas. Like, no, I saw the ultrasound. There's a baby in there. They'd be like, maybe she ate a baby. <laughs> Which is very optimistic. My little sister got knocked up and married when she was 19. She got pregnant. She goes, oh, I'm pregnant. Now I have to get married. I have to. No, you don't. That's stupid logic. That's like saying, oh, my God, this is bad. Quick, make it worse. <laughs> I told her I spilled juice on the carpet the other day. I didn't burn down the house. You can explore your options. I gotta get a new car. My car quit starting on a regular basis, which is like the third most important thing a car can do. I had to take it to a mechanic. He wanted to make an appointment. He goes, how's seven in the morning? I don't know. I've heard it sucks. I'll see you at noon. <laughs> seven? And do I have a hard hat and a lunch bucket? I don't wake up in single digits. He had my car for three days trying to find out why it wouldn't start. Then he calls and says it was the starter. <laughs> oh, mechanic of the year over here. How'd I find a hole in your schedule? I don't know much about cars, but if it doesn't move and it has a part called the mover, I'll check it on day one. <laughs> guy's an idiot. Sent me a bill for $1,2100. I was in a wedding recently. I was the usher in a wedding, which is like a slap in the face, if anybody's. It's the scab of the wedding party, the <laughs> least desirable position besides the groom in the entire wedding. <laughs> they have a bachelor party. We go to a strip club, and it's, it's not a good one. There's a really unqualified stripper dancing, and um, 
She could dance, but she was ugly, and um, <laughs> not even a normal ugly where you see her and you forget about it. I mean, really. <laughs> I almost called the Better Business Bureau. <laughs> she comes over to me first. She goes, hey, cutie, what do you want me to take off next? My glasses? <laughs> Good to have you here. Very funny, sir. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody.